Oh, there you go. Yeah. Belly rub, belly rub. Anyone with a pet knows animals can sense change, and this shelter in place is creating some big change in their worlds, too. Right now, you can tell the level of stress is much higher. You can hear them in the shelter. They're a lot more agitated than they normally would be. Mark Scott is the director of North Bay Animal Services in Petaluma, right now home to about 75 dogs and 30 cats. Fewer animals are being picked up by animal control officers or dropped off as strays here, mainly because so many people are staying home with their pets. But the shelter in place means the volunteers have to stay home too. And that means fewer walks for the dogs and less lap time for the cats. The volunteers also supplement the shelter's food supply. And they're amazing. They bring us food or they bring us donations, monetary donations, which are super helpful. The shelter typically gets eight to $10,000 a month in food donations. But recently, Mark had to go buy canned food for the dogs because they were running out. I think with all the things that are going on, people are trying to look within and find out what do they need to take care of themselves and their family. It's totally understandable, and they should. Right. Um, but at the same time, we still have a job to do. We're still trying to take care of the animals the best we can, and we wish we had more to do it with, but we're doing the best we can. Other services have come to a stop. There will be no more spays and neuters for the foreseeable future. They're going to have implications down the road. You know, when, when we start having kitten season come along, you'll notice the difference because we usually spay anywhere from 20 cats a week to now zero. With some folks out of work, taking care of their pets has been a challenge. The shelter teamed up with Pet Food Express to provide go bags for people who need a little help. Because of this, that's something new. We don't normally do that. It's something we realize people have called us and said, hey, I'm getting low. What, what are my options? I can't leave my house. So for the cats, they put some food, and then we have a couple of toys and little pooper scooper bones for the dogs, and they also put um, like a little leash. VIP leash to go in there. But there's a silver lining for the pets and people. If you're not ready to commit full time to having a pet, you can do it part time to help you and these little ones get through some stressful days. Well, we have a foster program for all of our animals, um, for you know, dogs that need a break from the shelter, same thing with cats.